Well, there's a guy who finessed his way and boosted his followers on Instagram using the AI music finesse. And people were, some people were really messing with his music using a big name, in this case, Ice Spice. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, just share it on the screen real quick. If you listen on the podcast, just let my voice soothe you and uh, take you through the journey. Welcome to the underground. It's the IG page that posted it. So that was the page he used for promo. And the slide is Ice Spice. And this rapper that you don't know, right? When you first see it, obviously. It says, breaking news, Ice Spice. You thought I was feeling you. The fact they got throw that in there. Just, <laughs> just co-signed <laughs> this artist in a recent interview. Ice Spice just co-signed this artist in a recent interview. Listen to this clip right here. JD's birthday is like my favorite artist right now. At first, it weirded me out that he was like using my name for promo and stuff, but I keep hearing his song Pink Floyd when I'm scrolling on TikTok and it finally got stuck in my head. Heard that? JD's birthday. JD's birthday is like my favorite artist right now. At first, it weirded me out that he was like using my name for promo and stuff, but I keep hearing his song Pink Floyd when I'm scrolling on TikTok and it finally got stuck in my head. So all right, let's break this down. Some of y'all are watching the clip, mm-hmm. the YouTube uh, folks. Shout out to y'all. But the problem is you might be able to see that it's obvious that she's not actually saying this. Yeah. If you watch close enough yeah. right, or if you just seen enough AI, um, you know, combinations, but it's her voice. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you're just watching on a regular scroll, not paying full attention, it really does say seem like Ice Spice is sitting in this interview talking about this JD's birthday guy. All right. Now, this is where we get into some promo tip, too, because the way that sentence was formed, right, the way he broke that down and said it, it felt realistic, mm-hmm. right? Like, at first, it was weirding me out. So, I don't know who this artist is. Like, if you're just listening as a fan, I don't know who Jay's birthday is. Mm-hmm. But at first, it was weirding me out. So, it kind of sounds like he might be a nobody, right? Just saying, like, throwing my name, using me for promo, da 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 Yeah. All right? But... He won me over. Yeah. And even that makes it a little stronger. Like, oh, but after I caught it enough scroll, scrolling on TikTok. So that that whole way of presenting it, like, really made it feel more realistic. Now, if he really was able to nail the AI aspect, he should have spent a little bit more time on that, finding somebody who could have, you know, really made it feel more realistic. Yeah, yeah. In terms of, like, catching the, uh, the, the audio with the video, like, he probably would have, like, passed for even longer. Yeah. That would have been scary at that point. Yeah. You could have got the video off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because, like, we know there are those uh, AIs that can take the mouth and, like, move mm-hmm. with it. He should have t- went that extra step because the plan was genius. Instead of me just doing some AI song or, like, or me, like, playing with an, an, an artist and having them rap one of their verses or a, a famous artist doing another artist's verse or something like that. No, like, how can I use the AI? To promote promote myself, so he got this paid for on an uh, Instagram public, uh, you know, blog page. Welcome mm-hmm. to the underground, and they did a collab post, right? So he has how many followers right now? It's not an enormous amount, but uh, he has seven thousand seven hundred followers. But I'm not gonna really play his song, not to like hate on him. It's just that these copyright strikes. But otherwise, bro, I would show the song "Love" and we would play it. Y'all check out JD's birthday. You know it's like saying? my favorite. Decide for yourself if you like it. But that's the other thing. You can do all these strategies just like anything else. Mm -hmm. And people got to like it or not. Mm -hmm. So you can do all these interesting things. Please still have quality music. So it it actually gets some kind of payoff. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, it got to be believable. Got to be believable. Got to be some level of believable. Some level. Right. 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 Let's look at some of the comments, though. Let's see, like, how this goes. Bro, no way niggas use AI for promo. So people are just happy with it. Like, you know, entertained by the idea. AI voiceovers for promo are crazy. See, Mm -hmm. people, and this is the thing, even when it's clear that it's a fake, people appreciate your attempts at creativity. Yeah. Like, they appreciate you for trying to get one over on them. If it feels like it's in good. It's like, oh, you weren't really trying to hurt me here. Yeah. You know? I see what's going on. And, I mean, even if it wasn't an AI finesse or something like that, trying to finesse them, just any attempt at, like, trying to do something on another level, Mm -hmm. people, they can sense it. It might not be something worth commenting on this type of level, Mm -hmm. but they can sense when you try and when you just, like, you know, you just show up. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like we we know it's it's, it's there. The bullshit meters is, is there in most people. Or deep some it's deeper down from others. It's, it's, some people have a hard time finding the bullshit meter. But we all got it. <laughs> we we all got it. It's so weird to see where the world is heading. Next thing you know, well, the kid twenty three said this. Next thing you know, you'll be in court trying to prove something you never said. Hey, nigga, we call that relationships. And they'll have an AI recording all of your voice saying that exact thing. So now you automatically guilty. SMH. Shit scary for real. For real. AI promo is hilarious. She want him. <laughs> People playing in with it. Keep pushing. Let's go. The dumbest and lamest thing any I've seen anyone do to get attention. Bro said, I got no real way of showcasing my talent. Let me do the dumbest shit ever so even more big rappers don't fuck with me. Yeah. This is a very bad take. Yeah. This is a very bad take. Like, this is, first of all, there's way dumber things to do than this. Second of all, this ain't that serious. He got attention. And there's a lot of things. This is like, you actually took time and put some thought into this, which I, that's what I appreciate. For real, for real. Should probably cost some money because I know these AI programs ain't cheap. Yeah. Or free, at least. No, right. They ain't free. Exactly. Uh, nah, the AI got me fucked up. All right, cool. Now, with that being said, actually, let me pull something up right quick. Quick second. Have you ever seen an artist catch some traction and then they start to move? The numbers start to grow. They might even go viral. But then fast forward a year from now, somehow their numbers haven't really grown that much. They drop back close to the same monthly listeners they had before the traction and viral moment. Well, that's because you have to know how to convert those moments into careers. And we've done this again and again with not only songs, but artists. And so has J.R. McKee, who's been a part of helping artists like Lil Durk, Rod Wave, Justine Sky, and Money Long. And we just did a collab where J.R. McKee does a step-by-step -step breakdown of how he took Money Long from zero to millions of monthly listeners and winning a Grammy over Beyonce, Mary J. Blige, and Jasmine Sullivan. Check out this breakdown while we still have it up. You can check it out at www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Don't forget the www or it won't work. Again, that's www.brandmannetwork.com slash Grammy. Back to the video. All right. Speaking of promo, I can't find a post, but Sean, I got to <laughs> I got to give my apologies. So I don't know if you remember. Okay. South by Southwest episode. Okay. I showed that post where the dudes had a promo with the the truck on the back yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I was talking about how they could have did better ways of promo. Yeah. So I sent it to the chat, but I couldn't. I don't know. I feel like they must have took it down or something. I couldn't find it. But they posted a video and they like chopped up my me talking about them. Right. Mm. I guess they must watch the podcast and they have somebody. They chopped up the video and it was like me saying. I would have had the video recording because we, we didn't see nobody recording on video. And I would have had, I don't know, let's just say your name or something like that. And they'll chop up like them doing their name. And then obviously mm -hmm. the video recording, little things like that. It was one thing that I was, I think I was right about, but they didn't like record where I gave them credit for it. They didn't put that out there. Point is, they did do it. They did a lot of things. Now I feel like there's a lesson in that. One, People are always going to see you like, let's just say you're doing shit, shit for five minutes. Somebody can see you for one minute. And if you might have shit perfect for that two minutes, you still gonna have people that just missed out because they only saw they saw you at the wrong period of time. It's like when you almost walked out on uh, Buddy, but you stayed because he finally hit that yeah, right yeah. part of the song. Yeah, for the right song. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's the lesson there, which, you know, like I went through my, my own things with that. Like, damn, how can I make almost every second I'm doing this, like catch as much as possible? But. Two, they did exactly what I would have did too. I would have chopped me up yeah, and promote that. And that's why I'm mad I can't find it because like I would have promoted it harder. You know what I'm saying? Or I mean, like, even if they didn't promo, I wanted to like, you know, show the love and post it. But the 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 point also still stands. Doing those things, right? Making sure if you do an, a creative event, that's why I thought about it, because it's Ice Spice posts and promo posts is creative. If you do something creative, you want to make sure it gets seen. Make sure you record it. Make sure you like people know who you are when you do it in the real world. The most important thing is recording. Though. I'm not going to even get into the other details. Y'all can watch the episode back. Most important thing is recording, which is something that they did. 
Because my whole point was like, bro, y'all doing all this amazing creative shit, but you got to make sure it gets recorded. So that still stands. Point uh, fact is they did it. Uh, with that being said, since I can't show y'all the post because I couldn't find it, let's move on to this other AI idea. Like we're talking about the creativity, how you move with your campaigns, the I Spice posts, like really paying attention to the details, make it feel realistic as possible. Just those small nuances, right? 